A leaked document shows how Russia plans to build its army and not what you expect. Ukrainian President Zelensky says how Putin is going to be killed. That's right. We'll go over all that here in this video. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. Thanks for liking and sharing these videos. Let's jump right in. Here we go. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on more videos like this. Click the bell icon after you subscribe. Here we go. Okay, as you can see here, a leaked document shows how Russia plans to take over Belarus. Now, whether or not the Belarusian president is okay with this may be another story, but this document written for Putin's presidential administration, which has now been leaked, uh, says that the total incorporation of Belarus into the Union State of Russia before 2030, a leaked internal strategy document from Vladimir Putin's executive office lays out a detailed plan on how Russia plans to take full control over neighboring Belarus in the next decade under the pretext of a merger between the two countries. Now, don't get me wrong. They would basically be part of Russia because they're not going to have any control once Russia takes them over. The document outlines in granular detail a creeping annexation by political, economic, and military means of an independent but illiberal European nation by Russia, which is an active, in an active state of war in its bid to conquer Ukraine. Michael Carpenter, the U.S. ambassador, says, quote, Russia's goals with regards to Belarus are the same as with Ukraine. So think about that. Only in Belarus, it relies on coercion rather than war. Its end goal is still wholesale incorporation. So think about this. Russia has taken over Crimea by force. They are now planning to take over Belarus. They're in the process of trying to take over Ukraine by force. And, as you can see here, the Belarusian president, basically a puppet for Putin, had stood in front of a map here indicating plans to invade Moldova with basically probably Russia's help. Again, another country that would have been invaded. And you can see the other headline here. Um, earlier in February, Russians have a plan to destroy Moldova, and Ukraine has uncovered it. And since then, Moldova fears it could be one of the next countries to be on the warpath for Putin to be taken over by it. And as you can see here, Putin just recently, hours ago, cancels the Moldovan sovereignty decree amid relationship of a planned coup to be taken over by Russia. So you can see here that Vladimir Putin and Russia is trying to take over country after country after country. Millions of people, millions of families, one by one, and thereby adding to their army. So think about this. What does this remind you of? If you said World War II and Hitler, Hitler and Putin, you're thinking exactly what I'm thinking. This is exactly what led up to World War II. Hitler added to his armies and took over city after city, country after country, and built up his armies and thought that nobody would stop him. And this is, to me, you guys can let me know your thoughts here in the comments, but the writing is on the wall. As he's, they've literally, well, they've already revealed twice by accident 
that they plan to take over Moldova on two separate occasions. They've already taken over Crimea by force. Now, in a leaked document, they revealed that they plan to take over Moldova. And they're in war to try to take over Ukraine, a country that had a population of 45 million people. Now it's probably more like 40 million people after 5 million people fled the country. Remember a year ago when people said, oh no, Putin's not going to try to invade the country. They're just putting that 150,000 people right on the 150,000 troops and tanks and armored equipment right on the border, but they're not going to invade. That's just warmongering and fearmongering. They're not going to do that. Well, here we are into year two now of the war, and them trying to take over the entire country, saying that they're liberating the country. And you can see here 16,000. You can read the headline here. Russia's basically capturing their people and taking them. Again, let me know what that reminds you of. So the question here is, as Putin and Russia continues to build his armies and look to land grab and gain more countries and try to put back the old USSR, but these are now independent countries. These are countries that do not want to be part of Russia or else they wouldn't be fighting back if they can. Crimea couldn't fight back. Moldova can't fight back. They're only a country of about two and a half million people. I might, they, they might try, but they would literally fall. Okay, they just, they're just too small. Okay, remember that Russia is like about 150 million people. Okay, Ukraine was big enough to at least fight back. And it's a noble fight, even with only 40, 45 million people, 40 now. Okay, to fight back against that large of a population, that large of a force for Russia. God bless them for even being able to fight back, okay, and for this long. Now, don't get me wrong, they've had a lot of help from, God bless the USA and Europe and the rest of the world, but rightfully so. I mean, no country should have to be invaded by somebody else and just have somebody come in and take over their homeland. But God help us if we get into a World War III type of situation with Russia, China, or North Korea as they're teaming up, it seems like, more and more by the day. And they look at the U.S. as the bad guy. You guys can let me know your thoughts here in the comments, but I don't know how the war is going to end because Putin is now pushing 300 to 500,000 new troops into Ukraine and is basically doubling down in year two and doesn't want to go home empty-handed as a loser. Oh, but here, don't let me forget this here. Zelensky, President Zelensky says that Putin will be killed by his own inner circle. Zelensky predicts. Here's what he has to say. Ukrainian President Zelensky believes that Russian President Vladimir Putin will eventually be killed by his own inner circle of allies. His comments come from his documentary that was produced by journalist Komarov and released on Friday to coincide with the one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Ukrainian president predicted that at a time of fragility, fragile, right, in Putin's leadership will eventually come prompting his allies to act against him. Quote, there will certainly be a moment when the fragility of Putin's regime is felt in Russia, Zelensky said. Then carnivores will eat the carnivore. It is very important, and they will need a reason to justify this. They will recall the words of Komarov, of Zelensky. They will remember. They will find a reason to kill the killer. Will it work? Yes. When? I don't know. Interestingly, is that there has been a lot of frustration with Putin's inner circle especially because this was supposed to be just a quick 
uh, what do they call it, special operation. Putin is, doesn't even consider this a war. This is just a special operation that is what, now in year two and nowhere close. In fact, they've been pushed back here pretty dramatically. So they've lost almost all the ground that they took. You know, the, the element of surprise is now completely gone, okay? So now Ukraine is completely prepared. They have half the world backing them. They have all these supplies now, brand new set of tanks, at least from Europe. The Abrams tanks, you know, aren't going to really be coming anytime soon. But they got all these new Leopard tanks, all this anti-air defense equipment. and what does Russia have to show for it? They've been basically blackballed, blacklisted by the West, America, and pretty much all of Europe. Nobody wants to buy their oil except for, again, the other, you know, black sheep countries, right? And all the think about all the Western companies that have pulled out of Russia. Russia's basically gone back 50 years of their economy. I mean, credit cards don't even want to do business there. They basically have gone back to almost the stone age of the economy. So think about it. What does Putin have to show for this? If he doesn't win, if he doesn't take over Ukraine or part of Ukraine and basically claim those resources, claim that oil, claim whatever's in the ground there and claim all that, you know, money that's there. Think about this. When when you claim land, you claim all the resources there. You claim the natural gas, you claim the oil, you claim the tax dollar, you claim everything, right? If you don't win, you lose. You claim nothing, right? And think about all the money they've lost from this. The dollars spent for equipment, the lives. If he doesn't win, at least something, it's a total loss. And a total loss of face. Question here is how does this end and how much longer does it go? And do we get escalated into some bigger type of war like World War III, which is the worst thing ever? We don't want to even see anything close to that because there will be no winners for that. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments and I will keep you up to date here. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Just click the subscribe button, then the bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos that come out here on our YouTube channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here's some videos you can watch next. Here's a brand new video that just came out about the origins of the virus with some fascinating info. And here's another video about what the Supreme Court is doing right now with also some really good info as well. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.